Collinwood in the year 1840, Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman have found that an evil force threatens those on the great estate. But Barnabas is unaware that Julia and Letitia have already fallen under the spell of this evil. On this night, Julia is preparing to conduct a dangerous experiment which will bring back to life Judah Zachary, executed for witchcraft in 1692. To succeed, she must have a ritual mask with supernatural powers. And now Letitia in Rose Cottage searches for the mask. doing in that dark room all by yourself? Well, I wasn't out just a moment ago. I, I only just put the lamp out. You're lying to me, Letitia. I was at the head of the stairs. I saw you enter this room just a moment ago, only you never did light the lamp. Now, what are you up to? I don't think that's any affair of yours at all. What do you have here? Nothing. Let me see it. Look here! Let me see it! Let me see it. <laughs> Do we have... Look at that Now you tell me, where did you get this? Collinwood in the year 1840. Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman have returned to this time hoping to alter the course of history and thereby avert a terrible tragedy at Collinwood in the year 1970. But one dangerous obstacle stands in their way. Judah Zachary, a man decapitated for witchcraft in the year 1592. For Barnabas does not know that Julia has fallen under the control of this enemy and on this night is ready to perform an experiment which could unleash the reign of terror that will eventually destroy Collinwood. When the lightning touches the body.
Zachary is alive. Those who live in the great house do not know of the existence of a strange underground vault in the deserted cemetery near the estate. But in the vault this night, Julia and Letitia, under the spell of the warlock Judah Zachary, have attempted to join the head and the body. Julia is forced to leave the vault and Letitia, thinking Judah dead, soon follows. But her departure gives away the secret hiding place to a very curious man. The great house at Collinwood in the year 1840, a time when the influence of one man's evil was felt by all who lived here. Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman are convinced that the mysterious disembodied head of the warlock Judah Zachary has been destroyed in an underground explosion. But they do not know that Gerard Stiles, haunted by a strange and disturbing dream, has returned to the underground vault, expecting to find the valuable jeweled mask he left there. Instead, he finds something that will change his entire life.
Collinwood in the year 1840, a force of evil will soon strike at the Collins family. Gerard Stiles has found the disembodied head of the warlock, Judas Zachary, and has been drawn to it. But he does not yet suspect that he is in danger of surrendering his whole being to a man who was executed for witchcraft in the year 1692. Good morning. I don't believe we've met. My name is Gerard Stiles. How do you do, Mr. Stiles? What is it? Is there something wrong? You were once named Miranda. 